there. Okay, it's like a bank or the RPMs. RPMs is the packages. So PM repositories are warehouse of Linux software, RPM packages. RPM packages file is a Red Hat package manager file and enables quick and easy software installation on Red Hat and CentOS. YAM repository hold number of RPM packages and enable download and installation of new software. Okay, so let's see here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new box. I'm going to clone this. Clone. And I'm going to call uh, YAM. Yum repo. Repo means repository, okay? So I'm gonna name that and then I'm gonna go next. I'm gonna go full clone. But as if I just curious why we are creating why you're creating a new clone. Just curious. Now moving forward, going to be all different servers here. So if a YAM server is there, it will be a dedicated server for YAM. And if you're going to create a DNS server, it's going to be a dedicated DNS server. So in this scenario, this will be used as a, as a server rather than a, any other client, okay? But the YAM server is not on the some official somewhere on the internet. Do we need to have a every company has a YAM server? We are setting up a local YAM server here. Because even though you have access to internet, you in a production environment you cannot simply go online and download download the stuff even though it's trusted. Even if it's trusted you you're not gonna do that, okay? So all the companies have a locally owned yeah. YAM server. Okay. All of them do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna go enable and then this is gonna be host only adapter and allow and the second one let me see if i need to uh, uh all right so th there is no second adapter here so let me just click ok here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn it on uh, okay Okay, so so it's one oh six. I'm gonna connect to one oh six. Okay, one oh six. Uh, okay, uh, what is it? One ninety two that one sixty eight that. Uh, 
So before I begin, well, so let's talk about Yam a little bit. Uh, okay, so Yam is the preferred way It's a preferred way to install a software, okay? Okay, and uh, what are the benefits? It resolves, resolves any dependencies. We saw some dependencies, right? When we're trying to individually install our software, it's telling you uh, you need to install so many dependencies. And we installed the Firefox. And Firefox wouldn't install because, because it has so many dependencies here. So what Yum does is it will automatically search for those dependencies and install it for you. Okay, and the YUM packages are uh, verified and tested by open source community. And then uh, the YUM repository directory, okay, it connects to a trusted third party. Okay, and um, an example would be the, the YAM repositories are hosted by a corporation. Or it could be hosted by a university. Or um, a non-profit organization. Okay. And then uh, you could refer it as a repo. And then it's short for, uh, short for repository. Okay, so it's actually a bank for bank for RPM packages. And then if you check uh, where the YAM is connecting. So to check on your machine, where is the connection being established? Um, to the download. Um, uh, to check where the YUM is connecting to download the package. Okay, I think you have to go to CD slash. ETC, 
So if I'm going into a ATC folder, what are, which folder is ATC folder? Configuration folder. Exactly, very good. And then there is a folder for Yum in there. Let's see, okay, so there is more than one for, uh, folder and file in there. So we are interested in going into the folder name yum repos.d. Okay, so. All right. Okay, so let me go in there and hit enter. And I do ls here. So these are all the configuration files which are configured to connect to the outside world. So let's go through all this here. Usually this is this is the file here, strengthOS underscore base dot repo. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so let me go V I. Okay, so this is a configuration file here. And it has more than one. So this is this is a configuration file here. And this one is connecting to so the, it says mirror list here. It's connecting to this place here, mirrorlist.centos.org. Okay, so it's connecting to the um, whoever is produced there, this uh, uh, operating system is connecting there. It doesn't have to connect there, okay? We'll take a look here. We could find other locations that it could connect to. So what is this doing here? This is updates. And uh, so th these are the locations that you could actually go there here. Let's copy and go there and see if it's going to work. So let me Okay, so I'm connecting there. Uh, Okay, so this is, these are all the packages there. Oh, look, it's, you could go up there and find packages all the way back from uh, 2.1. And these are all the packages here. They are sitting in there. This is in a uh, browse mode as if you are browsing the CD. Okay. Okay. So let's see which one is RPM in here. Okay, so it's called GPG keys here, so let's do it for six. Okay, so we'll come back to this here. Uh, let me just... Uh, <coughs> minimize that and what will happen is it will look these are all the configuration uh, this is uh, where it's connecting to here so for example uh, let's see here okay so 
to me it seems like this is the active one here. So this is what the configuration looks like here. Okay, so how do you install the yum? So the example is, this is the official example, yum install uh, Firefox. Okay, uh, to install package. The first question here. The YUM install that we are uh, using at this moment, will it go to the local server or it will still go to my own? Oh, it's, it's going to the internet. It's going into this here. It's actually it's going to go in, in here. This is the mirror is going to hit and then that's where it's going to in, uh, download it from. So, I mean, if we, we are trying to go through a browser, it's not working, but it will work when, it, when you like just type it in here, YUM provides this and then I install it will start working. My my question is we are setting up the uh, repo uh yeah, we'll set up locally. Yeah I will set up locally. We'll set okay. Up locally. Okay. To check the so well, you type yum provides Firefox. This will check the avail availability of the package. Yum install Firefox. Uh, it will install it for you. Okay. And then uh, to remove it, yum removes Firefox. Okay, this is how it is, simple. Okay. So actually, <clears throat> let me, let me go in here and let me start this. So for the clone that you made for the uh, YAM server, that was from the 6 or the 7? No, I'm using 7. Mm. Then um, I created the wrapper server for 6, I went to the YAM folder, and I see only plugin cnf.d, protected.e, vars, and version group cnf file only. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's hold on. I'm going to show you how it works.
Okay, so I'm going to check if the package is already there. So I'm going to type which file form. Oh, Firefox is already installed. So what you're going to do is yum removes Firefox. Okay, so maybe remove. Yes. Okay, so yum it, it removed the Firefox here, so it just uh, not removed remove. Okay, so let's go here. You could go to cat etc uh, yum repo. And then I'm going to, uh, let's go in there here. So I'm going to check for the base URL here. Okay. So it's connecting here for base, uh, for base uh, repo, it's connecting to this mirror here and it's downloading it from there. Okay, and I actually, it's, uh, when, it, when it's connecting here, it's doing the SSH, so it's, it's uh, exchanging this key here. So let's go in there. So these are the RPM GPG keys. Is nothing but the alphanumeric key, secure key here. See, you look at this here. So when the server is connecting to this, it, it verifies this, pre-install key here. It verifies that, and then from there it will, it will allow the, allow the centers to download the package. This one, my learning brother, what does it verifies from this it's key? A, it's, a it's a handshake. It's a SSH handshake. Uh, it's doing this here. Uh, with it's doing this. It's establishing a secure connection and exchanging the key. Are verified, then it will allow you to download. But these keys were already installed. Yeah, these are pre installed. This key is pre installed to. Uh, this is a verification key that you need to install in this folder so that the server responds to the package. If you allow this, okay, if you're not allowing this in the environment, for a if you don't need to uh, check the key, key here, you don't need to. So I'll come back here. We're kind of jumping the gun here, but uh, it will make sense okay. once it's already set up. Okay, so... Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so let me Okay, so you see in here the extra here. What it does is it will download the RPM plugins. Okay, if you are plug if you need to download a plugin, this is what it does for you. It it will go to this server 
and install the plugin. So you understand what plugins are, right? Sometimes so for your browser, you need to install a plugin that will help you with something. So those are the plugins here. Okay, so the command is yum install uh, yum hyphen plugin hyphen download only. Okay, we'll come back to this. It will make sense uh, in a moment. And then, um, if you want to install yum, install. Then, if you type download only, uh, and then the name of the package here. Let's take a look here. Okay, so uh, which NC? we were having trouble installing NC, right? So let me try something here. Yum, install. Then we want to download only. So what we can do is you can do hyphen download only. Okay, this is the command, okay? And then I'm going to install NC. Oh, man. Hold on. Okay, let me just put down the full name here. What is it saying here? Uh, just to just for the problem in RPM. Don't create a package. Check clean distribution downgrade. Okay, the command might have changed here. Oh, okay. Yum install, yum download only. Alright, so yum install yum plugin download only.
Okay, let's. Uh, I may actually have to run this here. Okay, the YAM CentOS is already installed. I think to install. Okay, I got it. And then let's let's do this command here. Yum downloader than the package name. Okay, um I'm able to install NC um, using the RPM here. Okay, give me one moment. So, RPM hyphen IDH. Okay, and then independence. Yeah. Don't 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 worry about this here. So we'll go back we'll go back to what we are doing here before we come back and try to fit it here. Okay, so yum install download only. So actually apparently this is not working. So uh what was the command here? Okay. So let's set up the local repo here. Let's move forward. Zero one eleven twenty. Okay, so let's uh, let's set up a local repo here. So for that, what you're going to do is, let me just exit out of here. So we are on to our local local uh, 
server here. So we're setting this up on local server. So okay, for that, for that, I need a bunch of packages here, right? Where do I get the bunch of packages from? I need to copy the CD again here. Okay, ID. Okay, I'm going to copy the center of CD in here again, and we should go fast. Why is this country going to take a five minute break? Was it supposed Yeah, yeah, sure. Let me take it myself. Let's make it 10 minutes, okay? Okay. Thank you. It's recording now. Oh, well, you have all this uh, documents, so you should be okay. Okay, so now the what we did was we did the uh, so the CD copy was already there. So maybe I'll put this uh, command down here again because you might end up end up uh, restarting the system. Okay, and then what you do is you copy this uh, So we disable the firewall and all that. Okay. Okay, so we are good here now. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to this folder here, cd slash etc slash yum dot repo. So remember, this it's going to go and hit in here because I changed the configuration here. So there is another command here if you want to see uh, which, uh, what files are, or what packages are uh, available. You type the command uh, yum list all. So it's going to list all the packages which are available here, okay? Uh, okay. Okay. What is the problem here? Repository repo is missing name in the configuration ID loading zero. Switch from the cache file. Okay, so let me see here. The error message is the loading mirror speeds. Repo not found.
یا من شاهش که بگیری یا من شاهی هست که بگیری یا من شاه توی لگا یا من اش که بگیری پاس این که دیگر های نمیده نمیده Or oh, maybe I need to put enable little one. GPT chat equals zero. Okay, give me one second here. So. CD slash ETC slash Yam guard repo. VI Yam. So enabled, right? Enabled equal one. Let's see if it's gonna work. Auto uh, the the correct the the real seven. Oh, okay. Spelling mistake. Spelling mistake. Maybe that's what it is. So let's see here. But uh, it's not working. Okay. Thank you. So it should work now, right? Let's see. Yeah, list all. Yeah, it's working. It was just us telling the spelling mistake, okay? Thank you. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to another box in my, in my environment here. So let's see, this one is uh, on. And let me turn off the network for it. Oh, okay, so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on another box. I'm going to log in as root. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to ping Google. So it's not working here, right? So it's confirmed here. Yum uh, provides Firefox. Okay, I think this is coming from cash here. Yum uh, provides HTTPD. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go into VI, I'm going to go into CD slash ETC slash EM dot repo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove everything from here. Okay, everything is gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a same file here. Uh, VI yum dot repo
Okay. And then I'm going to go here and copy this. That's good, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do is yum provides uh, yum list all. So what is happening here is it's connecting to the yum local server here, even though we don't have internet. Let me just reboot once and come back here again. There's a lot of work that we have to do, but there's a lot of work to learn. Uh, I didn't hear you say what? I said, there's a lot of work that we need to do. <laughs> I never said it's going to be easy. It's going to, it's right on course, so you could imagine. I heard sometimes people say, oh, Linux is so easy, and then they try to ridicule it. It's not. No, it is not. <laughs> There's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of work, I and mean, you have to wear a lot of hats in here. But you just don't need to freak out. All these things, you just need to, uh, I, you know, just uh, when you are. I mean, all this comes as a part of a job here, but uh, you may or may not be doing day in and day out. It depends on uh, which queue you end up being. So, if the environment is big, huge, your there is like a separate team uh, doing YAM, separate team doing uh, DNS and all that, okay? All right, so. Let's uh, take a look here, and it's confirmed that it's, uh, you know what, actually, let me, let me just disable it, it may try to. Okay, I'm just going to unplug this. No, leave this alone. Leave this. Okay, so now it's absolutely confirmed it's not going outside. So, yum list all. So what's happening is it's going to go, it's hitting this server here. It's hitting this yum repo server. From here to here, it's, instead of going outside, it's hitting here and it's going to install this. So that way, you're going to have the good control over your uh, package repository, okay? So let's see here. Uh, so NC is not installed. So let's see. 
EM provides LC. EM provides. So NC is there, so let's install it. So it's checking and all these dependencies and all that, and it's doing this locally. Just a big picture is there. It's doing this locally here. So all right, so let's see if the Firefox is there. So yum install Firefox. We've got a hack and we install all the records of that hack. Say that again, please. The Red Hat, we install uh, or we download all the RPMs from the Red Hat Red Hat's Red Hat server, right? Yeah. Once uh, once you have a subscription here, you would have like a Red Hat satellite server, which is uh, this is what it does it for you. But uh, this, this is exactly what you do on a satellite server and install it. Uh, I couldn't hear the question, brother. I'm sorry. Yeah, there is a concept called a satellite, Red Hat Satellite Service. Uh, what it does is it, it, uh, it installs some, uh, it's actually a server that manages all the other boxes, all the other hosts. So you could use that for installing the image, you could use that for installing the packages and updated, updates goes from there. So it's a, actually a local Local on site server. You can detect the satellite server, the local server? Yeah. It's on site, so you have to manage those. The Red Hat satellites are the local, local servers. Okay, so let's see here. On So all all you have to do here is you have to go to this folder in the and then you do vi And then that's all you do. Okay, and uh, what else? Then you could test it out. Let me install and see. And uh, you install Firefox. And then, uh, but, uh, can, you, can you add one more command here, yum provides, so that we practice that also before we install? Yeah. So if you run this command, yum list all is working. You can check yum provides nc, and you do which nc to. Or uh, which Firefox? Which command you use this? Which command to see if it install or not? Right? Which uh, and see if you see uh, like a location folder and which is installed. So you could do yum list all 
and then you can check how many packages you have. So you have about 4,000 packages here. And how, how often do you need to install some packages that are not part of the original image? Just curious. Now you do you do uh, the configuration before you do. Uh, okay, so you have to wait for the next couple of classes here. What it is your next? We're gonna. Uh, Here's the thing here. For example, there will be different uh, teams, uh, different departments in your big company, right? So you have accounting, you have, you have database and all that. So each each group, they will need like a specific software on it. So what you do is you install, you install the operating system, then you install all your uh, basic configuration. For example, network configuration, uh, DNS, and all those. And then you set up this, and then you install the software on it. When you're installing the software, you are connecting to this uh, repository, local repository here. Okay? And also, this you don't have to do the installation part. You have to do the configuration part. Installation part is done by the application team. So if they need to install... Uh, for example, NC or anything like that, they will do it on their side. So having a local re repository, that means it's kind of secure and it's being tested by the company engineers that this is good for to be in the environment. But, no, but the question here, question here is that we didn't do anything. We just took the image and we are downloading those packages from the image. And those packages are also part of the internet wherever they are located. I'm just trying to learn that what else do they do or how they verify this is good or not because these are the same from the no. down, internet download. No, no, yeah. Before you do it in the environment, you install and test it. It's called UAT testing. So you install on a test machine and then test it and then... Uh, and then you test it, and then uh, the business test, do the testing, and everybody signs off on it before the package goes into uh, into your environment. All these things in, 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 into the policy server. Yeah. For example, okay. NC is a common right? But they, for, but for example, if there is uh, also database software that need to get installed here. Before it goes in here, uh, you have to install that on a test machine and test it. And uh, there are more than uh, more than uh, one person or two, three, four from different departments that are testing it. They have their eyes on it. And once they are all happy with it, then they'll sign off. It's not a part of testing. Yeah. Uh, this would be part of testing. Most of the time, the testing is done from India these days. You may have somebody on site for doing the test, but uh, they do a lot of testing uh, from India. So basically, what I'm learning at this moment is that any package, any .rpm package that goes to the repository server locally can need to be tested before it is it goes to the repo server. Exactly. Yes. And this is true for all the packages or just no, some of them are? The basic ones, the ones which are uh, already in the environment and ones which are commonly used, you could definitely just put it in there. Like... Uh, okay. NC is very common, right? Yeah. And you gave the example of NC. But Firefox, a new version comes out every so often. 
So you're, right. you're just not going to be able to do that. You have to test it before you put it in there. Makes sense. Thank you. And there are a lot of plugins that are there uh, which you need to test it before it goes in there. Uh, database. And um, there's a lot of things here. You can definitely do it you, when, you, when you run this command. Uh, you know, it's showing you all these uh, packages here. But most of them are little packages. Some of them are like real packages. Let's see here. Some packages are in here are dependent on each other. So more than one software would use it. Say so like here, Python is like unlimited here. So all these different versions are being used by different uh, packages here. There is a Perl in here, ECP, Open, uh, LMI, NASA. So, well, you get the idea here. Some of the things I may not be able to show you all of them, but uh, once you get on job here, you would get the idea. All right, so we are 20 minutes over already, so I'm going to stop here and I'll catch up tomorrow. Good afternoon, Dr. Okay, love it.